everybody how are you if you are doing very well uh, today we continue with lesson number three the life cycle of stars so <clears throat> the main question uh, for our lesson today is what is the life cycle of a low mass star so uh, the students the mass of a star actually determines the different stages that it will pass through during its life cycle okay so low mass stars, uh, including our sun, grow larger and become giants. Then they end their lives as objects called white dwarfs. So today we'll see how these uh, stars are changing from being a large giant star into a small dwarf one. So guys, you may remember that we said uh, that stars form in a nebula and uh, it will form as a result of a process called uh, fusion reaction during fusion uh, reaction uh, the small uh, hydrogen nucleus uh, or nuclei combine or fuse to produce uh, a bigger uh, helium and nucleus so like that during this process and uh, the fusion reaction uh, we say that an amount of energy will uh, generate, okay? And this energy, guys, this generated energy will uh, what will cause an outward pressure, okay? But you may remember that we say that at the same time uh, we have a gravitational force or inward gravitational force that pulls the materials of the stars together okay so here guys we have outward pressure and inward and gravitational pull okay during the formation of star these uh, guys uh, two forces are in balance the pressure uh, or the outward pressure and the inward gravitational pull okay these forces as you say they are in balance but once uh, fusion uh, process or fusion reaction uh, process ends these forces are no longer in balance guys why because there will not be uh, any uh, outward pressure as no more energy will be generated so in this case the inward gravitational pull will uh, overcome what the outward pressure anyway they will be uh, or these forces are no longer in balance and the star's outer uh, atmosphere expands so guys the gases in the outer shell grow cooler and the star is much larger and glows red these large red stars are called what giants so giant stars shine brightly because of their large surface areas as we can see here guys in this photo okay here we have the giant uh, star okay so uh, giants are at least 10 times the size of the sun low mass stars which contain about as much mass as the sun will become red giants okay so this is the two main feature of the uh, low mass star they are large as we said at least 10 times the size of the sun and they are what they have the red color okay so red giant star are what are uh, low mass star so guys now let us see how uh, giant star this giant stars will change into uh, a white dwarf okay so the giant loss is material leaving what leaving a white dwarf so guys over time a giant uh, outer gases drift away from the core the gases in the outer shell appears as a cloud around a dying sun like uh, star now some clouds form a civil sphere or ring around uh, the star and many form more what more complex shapes so as the clouds 
and the spurs guys are inhaling gravity because the remaining matter in the star's core right here to collapse inward to the center of the star so the core of the uh, stars becomes denser and very hot as you can see here from the blue color at this stage guys the star is known as white dwarf and you may remember that we've seen a white dwarf is the hot dense core of matter that uh, remains from the collapse of a low mass star so again guys as you can see here in the middle or in the core of the giant star guys as we said uh white dwarf will what will uh generate okay so again guys here we have a giant star surrounding it uh, is the shell that contains a lot of gases so guys we say that this cloud uh, gas clouds disperse then gravity causes the remaining matter to in the star's core to collapse inward the core of the star becomes denser and very hot and at this stage the star is known as a white dwarf white dwarf that has a blue color and you may remember that we said blue color uh, means what that this star actually has the highest highest temperature among other stars okay So guys, white dwarfs shine for billions of years before they cool completely, okay? So as white dwarfs cool, they become fainter. And actually, this is the final stage in the life cycle of low mass stars. So guys, here we have this question using the image below describe the process by which a giant becomes a white dwarf as we say the giant star uh, the outer shell actually of the giant star uh, contains gases this outer shell or the gases uh, surrounding uh, the giant star will what? Uh, they will drift away okay the clouds will disperse and because of that the remaining uh, matter uh, and the star's uh, core uh, collapse inward okay then the, the core will become denser and what and very hot okay so gravity causes the star's core to contract to collapse and form a white what a white dwarf okay so guys here uh, to summarize the whole process or the life cycle of a low mass star guys exactly what is happening a low mass star forms in a nebula in the beginning uh, just as any a regular star and uh, this low mass star goes through a main sequence stages it's a little bit complicated guys i know that but uh, we just need to understand the main ideas guys okay here so uh, again a low mass star forms in a nebula goes through a main sequence stage in which is it stays pretty much the same and then it turns into a giant eventually it will become white uh, a white dwarf star okay so guys uh, that's all for today next time we'll see We'll discuss about the life cycle of high mass star and once we uh, finish this lesson inshallah we will uh, try to answer uh, uh, the questions in the lesson review inshallah uh, by answering this question all these uh, ideas will become uh, much uh, clear for you okay so don't worry about that guys uh, thank you and see you inshallah uh, tomorrow